If you like Ableton Live Session View, but maybe you don't have the money for the program, then Cakewalk's Matrix View is an excellent free alternative to Ableton Live. So in this video, we're going to look at how to use Cakewalk's Matrix View, how to load clips into it, how to launch those clips, and of course, how to record your performance so you can put together songs in a fun and performance kind of way. So let's dig in. So the first thing we'll do is start a new project and I'm going to start an empty project. And then I like to get some things out of my way so it's not cluttered in here. We'll close this down. Now let's go up to views and we'll go to matrix view. And this brings up the cakewalk matrix. It doesn't look like a whole lot right now, but it's actually a very powerful tool to use for making beats or any type of music that you want. Now let's look at a few ways that we can load our audio clips into the matrix view. And the first way is just by going to a folder and then we can easily just drag and drop into any of these. And I'm going to tell you in a bit how you might want to structure these, but right now I'm just going to drag and drop into there. And you can see our clip is now in there and it's created a track. That track is also up here. So if this was going to be our bases, we could call this our bass track. So we have a bass in there. And if we wanted to launch this, we can just click the play. Click it again and it turns off. So we have one clip in there. Another way that we can load clips in is by going to our browser over here. If you have it closed, you could just click on this little arrow thing here and it opens it up. If you don't have it at all, get rid of that. We can go to views and then click on browser and it's going to load it there, but not anchored. So if we want to anchor it, we kind of drag over and you can see it's highlighted and now it's anchored over there. All right. So we have our browser loaded. Now what we want to do is click on the little folder over here and you can go through and find wherever you have your loops, just like you would scroll through folders in windows. You can just do that within this program. And then once you find the clip you want to use, you would just click and then drag that into wherever you want in here. If you drag it onto another track, it's going to create a whole new track up there. But we'll put it back up here because it's a base. And as you can see, if we accidentally put this onto the wrong track, we can easily just click and drag and put it into any other cell wherever we might want it. Now, the final way that we can load an audio clip into the matrix view is by right clicking on any of these cells and then import file. And then again, you would just find wherever your audio is in here. And then you would just double click on it, or you could click once and click on open. And that's going to load your clip down there. So that's three different ways that you can load clips into the cakewalk matrix view. Use whatever way works best for you. Now let's look at how we might want to structure our clips in here. So if we go horizontally on a track like this, this is a single track. So like we've named this one bases, you might want to have all your bases horizontally lined up like this. And then vertically, you might want to structure things like maybe all of the clips or most of the clips that you'll be using in your verses, your choruses, things like that. Because if we click up here on one, it will launch all the clips in this vertical row here. And same with three, it would launch all of those. So let's just have a look at that. You can see you can stop any of the clips you want by just clicking on them and you can start them up again by clicking on them. And if you want to stop everything all at once, you can click on the stop all cells and that stops everything instantly. So I'm just going to load in one more instrument here. So we kind of have a song happening. So we have bass, drum and synth. Let's just hear what it sounds. Like. Thank you. 
So everything's pretty loud. If we wanted to adjust the levels of any of these tracks, we could go over here to our console down at the bottom, or you could go up to views, click on console view, and now you can see our tracks. So we might want to bring down our drum a little bit and maybe our synth a little bit, and we'll maybe pan it a little over to the side. Now let's listen to what this sounds like. All right, so that's a little better. That's what we'll stick with for now. And what if we want to record our performance? We can record everything that we play in here into our timeline up here. That way we can make songs using the Cakewalk Matrix view and we can go back and edit things, take things out, put things in and edit it however we want. We'll just click on this arm for recording button right here. And you can see it says capture matrix performance off. We click on it, it is now on. Then what we want to do is go into each individual track and I'm just going to expand them a bit here so you can see them. And we'll arm all of them for recording by clicking this button here on each of the tracks. We're all set up to record our performance. So we'll click on the record button right here. And as you saw, I stopped it by clicking the stop button there, stopped all of the recording, but this all kept playing. So I clicked on that to stop all of our clips and look what we have here. We have all of our clips that we launched in here. You can see where I switched to something else and we can go back in and listen to this if we want. And that's not playing these clips that are in here. It's actually recorded that audio in. So you can see if we press play, none of this stuff is playing. It's just playing the audio in here. And you can go in and we can edit things up, maybe shorten that if we wanted to. Add another clip in there if we really wanted to. And another thing we can do is add in another instrument. So we'll go to drum loops, hat loops, and let's just bring in a light hat. We'll put it on its own track down here. Now say we want to add some hi hat in behind all of this. Let's click here. We're going to unarm these other tracks. Then we'll arm our hi hat track, arm this for recording, and then click record. And you can hear I have the metronome enabled. If you don't want the metronome enabled, you can click this right here and that's going to disable it when you're recording and you can have it enabled when recording only enabled when you're doing playback or enabled for both. And I'm just going to unclick it now because really we don't need it for this. So that's some of the basics. There are some other things in here like global loop mode off. So if we turn that global loop mode off, things aren't going to loop. It's just going to play once and that's it. There you go. It's just played once. Then we can enable it again. Now it would continue to loop. And you can see each clip 
has these controls on there as well. So if you just want an individual clip to play once, not loop, you would just click on that. And now that clip's only going to play once while these continue to loop. And of course, there's more you can dig into with the matrix view. I just wanted to show you the basics. Now, if you want to check out another way that you can create beats in Cakewalk, click the video on the screen. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane. Keep creating and we'll talk soon.